When a baby is born, our, our hopes for the future are rekindled, aren't they? they? There's just this tender little being. And we know it in those first days after their birth and we hold them in our arms with this awesome potential of a, of a, of a baby. We look and think, my, my, my. Do, do you remember that? My goodness. Good parents want what's best for their kids. They want for the kids to be successful but the way to do that is to give them space to balance the outer and the inner. Right from the cradle, we start to, to overwhelm our children with too much stuff. When we overschedule kids, when we push them so hard, when we have so many toys, so many books, so much screen media, ballet on Monday, soccer on Tuesday, classes on Thursday, um, a, a play date on, on Friday and Saturday, I don't know, aura balancing to cope with it. It's like parenting has become a, a competitive sport, like a parental arms race. Society is telling us, no, 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 that's normal, but our gut is saying something is wrong. We are externalizing stuff at our peril because that is stroking the beast of addiction and I came to think of this as the undeclared war on childhood there's so much stuff out there there's so much distraction out there there's so little time to spend quietly alone just mucking around the creek that capacity to to sit quietly to face one's own struggles to wrestle with one's own answers, to just sit and wrestle with a homework question rather than rushing to Google for the answer. Way too many choices. It makes children feel really unsafe because they don't know who's in charge. What about we find ways to actually lessen that downfall of too muchness? What we've forgotten in modern times is the gift of boredom. Let our kids be bored because 20 minutes later, after they've been bored enough, and by the way, separate them if there's two of them, because they take, they relieve their boredom on each other. But they, but sep and then creative play breaks out. What the path of simplicity parenting is talking about is actually clearing away that clutter. So it's more than just culling toys. We are, in in a sense, giving our children resilience to addiction. Likewise, the beautiful thing about simplifying and balancing family life is that we rediscover family. We rediscover our kids a little bit more. They discover us. We get close. And what I'm suggesting is that we can give our children a flying start by doing less to actually be creative, be adaptive, be innovative. Those are the kids who are not only going to get into good colleges, they're just going to be good mummies and daddies. Many parents within sort of eight to ten weeks were very moved by saying, you know, the, the, my, I feel like I've got my little boy back. I feel like I've got my girl back. We have to start our children off from a basis of it's a beautiful world. That kind of kernel is what simplicity parenting hopes to build a pathway back to. If you take out one simple point and begin from that simple, doable act of balance and simplicity, we have begun to declare peace in our homes.